In this video, I'm going to show you how to use floating effects to animate your products, images, or even texts within Elementor. I'll show you how to create this exact floating effect on these products in the first hero section of this website. And you see that this is actually having a different floating effect. This has a different one and this also has a different one. Not only that, you can still add floating effects just like I added on this hero section. You see like on that product, this over here, the way it is rotating, you can still do it within Elementor and also add a floating effect like you see right over here on this image. As well, you can add more other floating effects just like you see over here and you can easily apply them to your images, text or even products. So without any further ado, let's get started. To get started, we are going to go back to our WordPress website dashboard and right over here, we're going to go to plugins and I want you to make sure that you have the premium add-ons for Elementor add-on installed. So just to let you know that this is the add-on that is going to enable us to add the floating effects on our Elementor widgets. Once it shows up over here, currently it has over 600,000 active installs, install and have it activated. And once it's activated, you'll have this menu option below here. Once you click on that, under global features, make sure that the floating effects are enabled. By enabled, I mean it should be in green or active. Once that is done, then you can open up any of your pages or sections where you want to add your floating effects. In this case, I'll come over here to my pages and I'll say edit with Elementor. Once that page opens up, apparently this is how our first hero section looks like but i want to convert that to a hero section like this that has floating products or images on our website so in case you want to see how i created this exact website i have a full tutorial on this youtube channel on how you can create a free wordpress website using elementor so to get started we are going to come over here and say add a new container this container will run in the row direction and within this container, we are going to add three other containers. So I'll come here to layout, drag another container. And I'll come here to the navigator and I'll duplicate this container thrice. Now inside this container, we are going to add our products or images. So I'll come over here and I'll look up for the image widget from Elementor. Add it over there. Now, we are going to first of all add our first image. So with the image widget selected, come to choose image since i have already uploaded my images to my wordpress website i can select the image and there an image shows up however in this case i want to limit the height of this image so i'm going to select the image i'm going to come to style and with maximum width i'm going to change this to 50 percent so this will reduce everything proportionally than coming over here to the height option and reduce it because that will kind of get the image stretched so 50% of this image size looks good for me. The same thing I'm going to do for the other container. Grab my image widget, come over here to choose image, and then I'll choose my image, which is this. Upload it. The same I'll do to reduce its size. So I'm going to come over here to style, maximum width, make sure we have the percentage sign selected, and I'll make this to be a 45%. The same thing I'm going to do for the last container. Image, grab my image from the media library, come to style, come to max width, and I'll make this to be a 70%. Now, with our main container selected up here, so I'll name this float images. With it selected, I'm going to make sure that the items are aligned in the center. Now, the other thing I don't want to forget at the moment is to add our background color and also a minimum height for our container. So back here to our editor, I'll come and select my container. Under layout, there is an option called minimum height or mean height. Select VH and I'll make this to be a 95. But I think an 85 would look better in this case. Okay, that's better. Now to style, background type. And here I'll select my theme color one. 
and here I'll change its opacity so I'll make it a 42% and that's now our background color good now how do we add our floating effects to our images so with our image widget selected for the very first image we're going to come to advanced and then we have the option called floating effects which comes from the premium add-ons for Elementor select that and here when we say enable floating effects we will get all these other options we have the translate effect we have the rotate effect we have the scale effect and we have the skew effect down here we have the general settings of the direction we have the loop settings for the uh, for the floating effects and also how the movement of this floating effect will look like so as you can see right over here on our hero section you realize that this image here was given a rotate effect so we are going to apply the same effect so to do that we are going to come back here to our editor and here we'll choose the rotate effect so we'll enable it or turn it on i'm going to make that on the x-axis from it will be three degrees and two it will be 12 degrees something like that and then for that y-axis i'm going to make this as well 24 degrees that is two and i will make the other side 12 degrees the z rotate here is going to be actually I'll make it a 14 from and two that is going to be a 13. you are free to go and you know try out and test with different figures for your angles or rotations first of all i'm going to say save as a draft and we're going to open this in a preview to see how this looks like so say open in a preview and boom there our image rotates exactly how we wanted it to be rotating like this over here let's open up now our second image so with this image selected this image will have two floating effects and that will be the translate effect and as well as the scale effect and let me show you how that will work like so in this case we are going to come over here to advanced floating effects and we are going to enable the floating effects and we will start with enabling the translate effect we don't want to have any translate effect on the x-axis so i'll make that complete zero zero on the x-axis and then on the y-axis we are going to make this to be 17 pixels and the from is going to be negative 87 pixels now let's go and add our scale effect that will have this animation that makes the image become bigger and then smaller so to do that back here we have our scale effect enabled and we are going to leave everything here on the default settings just as it is we are not changing anything and here i'll say save a draft alternatively you can just click on the preview and now here our preview reloads and boom you see how that now looks like now let's go back here and we work on our very last image so because we wanted to have this uh, rotation effect to be like as if this spray is spraying into these other detergents with our floating effects enabled click here on the rotate and now here we are going to enable our rotation so here it's going to be running from uh, to 12 degrees so 12 or 13 will still work well and then flow is going to be running only three or negative three degrees on the y-axis it will be 24 degrees and from is going to be negative 12 degrees on the z option we are going to have it rotate uh, negative 14 degrees and two is going to be 13 degrees great and i'm going to save as a draft for now let's go and look at the preview and boom there it shows up now you can see that they both have the floating effects and they look exactly like the demo we saw earlier at the start of this tutorial so the question is how can we make it that when someone loads the page for example on our demo page when i reload it you realize that these images have a floating animation just like that and you realize that this image here doesn't float in but only appears once all the other images have shown up so how do we do that now that is not something that we are doing with the premium add-ons for elementor it is something that comes in built in the elementor page builder so back here in our editor we're going to start with the first image and we are going to come here to advanced and down below after floating effects 
there is an option called motion effect. This comes with Elementor under the entrance animation and I'll look up for the fade in up. So this effect here and I'll leave it on normal. That's it. Now for the next image, I'll have it selected under motion effects. And here I'm only going to choose the fade in just like that for it to appear. And for the last one, we are going to select it and motion effects. Here we are going to select also fade in up just like that. So you can choose to delay this image for some seconds or, you know, play around with the delay options and the speed just like you want. But I'll leave everything here on the normal options and I'm going to save as a draft. Then let's go and look at our preview and boom. There our images show up having the floating effects and also having the motion effects added to this section looks nice and neat and i would highly recommend you to use this kind of floating effects if you are having like demo sites or like product sites that you want to demonstrate an image you can even make it like rotate in a certain way if it's a 3d image you can still use the floating effects to create stunning and interactive designs using elementor now so like i showed you earlier in the demo how did i create this kind of floating effect just like this over here for this hero section so just to take you through briefly, what I did here is that I used something called the image layers widget and this image layers widget only comes with the premium add-ons for Elementor. And if you have not watched my video about the image layers, then you should check it out. I'll be leaving a link in the description of this video so you can understand how the image layers work with Elementor. Now, after adding all my image layers, I selected the image that is having that image. You see this image for this product. So once I had that image selected, so I'll look it up over here. This is it here. And under animations, I added a scroll effect, which is a rotate effect and it rotates clockwise at that speed. Now that means that every time I am scrolling, it does rotate in the clockwise direction. Now, this effect is only applying to one image. Remember, these are different layers. This is one layer. This is another layer, another layer, and another layer. And that is what you see right over here. Now, for this image here, what I simply did was have it selected. And under animations, we have the option to enable the floating effects. And here I added a transit effect that is applied both on the X and the Y axis. And that's how you see it flowing just like that. And that's how I managed to achieve a design that looks just like this over right there. The other bit is how did I also create this design here that has this detergent and this lot animation. So here is my section. And when you look at this section, it has actually three containers. So the first container that is holding this text and also this image that I actually made it to have a negative margin to pull the image to appear like it is floating into the next container. So under advanced, you see that I gave it a negative margin. Now the other bit is in the middle container. So the container that is holding our image, this over here, I made sure that first of all, in that container, I added two widgets, which is the image widget, the image widget, which is holding in this case, our detergent and also a Lottie animation widget. And I added my Lottie animation, which you can pick up from the Lottie website. Now with my image widget selected, I came over here to advanced, came to floating effects. And right over there, I added a transit effect on the X and the Y axis. Now that's it all for this tutorial. I hope now you have an idea on how you can use floating effects in your designs to make them interactive and even look much better. So in case you have any questions or comments about this video, let me know down in the comment box below. Check out the description to find out the links to the related videos mentioned in this tutorial. And finally, make sure that you check out the responsiveness of your sections before you actually take your website live. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next one.